is fantastic. The brain can generate new neurons from neuronal stem cells throughout our entire lives. It's a process called neurogenesis. From it stems a process called myelination, which as MS patients, we desperately crave. Take it from someone who has done it. It's better than what you can imagine. Only problem is the capacity for neurogenesis declines with age, reducing the potential for myelin recovery. But if you are following my five essential elements of re MS recovery, as well as taking an anti Epstein bar drug, which eliminates B cells, you have the potential to do it. I'll dive into one of the five essentials. I want to describe how you can preserve neurogenesis into old age. Hey, it's Steve. We have many different enz enzymes up in the brain that perform countless functions. I'm going to talk about one of them. It has direct involvement in myelin creation. It's called AMP activated protein kinase, AMPK for short. It's a cellular energy sensor, which means it's hard at work when you get hungry. And as your energy decreases, it's in full swing. If you watch my videos, you know one of my five essentials is following the OMAD diet, which stands for one meal a day diet. <laughs> I get asked about it all the time. People wonder if it's absolutely necessary. That's a, that's a fair question. So I need to explain. Let me lead you through a typical 24 hours to show you how and why it's so vitally important. So the first four hours after eating are known as the anabolic growth phase. Your body is using up the energy you just ate to power your current activity level for cellular and tissue growth. Your pancreas produces the growth hormone insulin. It allows your body to use up the glucose that was released into your bloodstream after the meal. Next, the second phase kicks off about after four hours and lasts up till about 16 hours from when you eat. This is the catabolic stage or the breakdown phase when all those extra nutrients start being released into your bloodstream to be used for energy. But once that energy is depleted, your body starts to pull energy from stored fat and muscle. The process of releasing that fat and muscle and burning it up for energy releases chemicals known as ketone bodies. But once you pass that 16 hour mark, glucose in the cells and glycogen in the liver and muscles begins to dwindle rapidly, which causes you to burn stored fat in order to keep up with your body's energy needs. But here's the great part. Here is where the topic of this video comes into play. The production of AMPK triggers and what makes that AMPK so special. It has been shown 
that it under a calorie deficit meaning you are burning more calories than you consume it can promote myelin formation as a means to repair previously incurred loss of myelin and isn't that what we crave the 24-hour mark is where I found it's best to stop the process I take those eight hours between 16 hours and 24 hours and take that little bit and use it and build on it every day. Your patience will pay off in the long run. If you are too impatient and take your fast for longer than 24 hours, your body will turn to burning muscle, not fat and burning muscle lowers your metabolic rate, which you don't want to do. If you've tailored your diet correctly, you will keep your body in the calorie deficit we want. I see this happening if I look at my Fitbit. It records calories I burn by tracking my heart rate and other metrics. My diet is exactly the same every day, which <laughs> makes it so easy. The only thing that changes is how many calories I burn. So on days I don't lift, we lift, I often don't reach a deficit. But on those days I lift, I'm almost always guaranteed a substantial deficit. In scientific studies, it's been shown that mice under calorie restriction had three times greater AMPK levels. That said, a calorie deficit must be performed in tandem with all of the essential elements. Oh, and don't forget eliminating the Epstein Barr virus. I would love to hear from you. Are you performing OMAD yet? What are your impressions of it? I know for me, I'll never go back to a normal three meals a day diet ever again. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss a video. Until the next one.